Welcome back to Rate My Chase. Before we get into the chase, let's get into a climax reasoning segment brought to you by Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair and DSP. So how about that? We have Rem Best Girl and a Danganronpa styled segment. You know what that means. Oh, wait. As Harry Thompson would say, no anime allowed. And I did say at the end of Chase Trials Residuals that I'd never do another Danganronpa styled episode. Though that would beg the question of why is DSP co-featured in the opening segment? And of course, the feedback for the Rate My Chase Season 4 trailer. We had uh, people say, no more Danganronpa stuff please. So, obviously... I would listen to feedback by the viewers. I So, we for sure in this episode are not going to see any of that content. I wouldn't lie to you. So, But either way, uh, Ram Best Girl's last episode back in September 2017, about 17 months ago, is the sixth most viewed Rate My Chase in Rate My Chase history. It got passed over by the TV Boy and Jackie Chronicles in the past couple of months. But if you reduce that to single chase, single warrant episodes, Rems is the third most viewed in history. So, you guys gotta make your mind up. Either that or grow a pair of balls, you fucking cocksuckers. But, even though we're not gonna have any Danganronpa elements in this episode, we still will make fun of Kalkan. That's always fun. Let's get to the chase. Alright, time for Chase and Rem's natural habitat of Las Venturas. We see him with Yo, Arky, and Cal Khan. And a cheetah here as he goes to his right, gets in front. And Rem gets hit just a bit here, but Cal Khan's shots actually hit Yo, Arky. And Yo, Arky's car blows up as we go eastbound. On the Julius Thruway South here, but versus Cheetahs, we turn our knots on here, and we keep on going, and Cal Khan hits past Dizioch, and the front of his car actually rear ends us. As Ram now has some space to get on the strip, as Cal Khan using all of his might to get up to Rem here, as we see a bunch of fags on the strip, Rem will get off of it, and we see Snoopek, the Sam Dog here, the uh, smart Sam Dog though. As we ramp around, come a lot. See Franchi Cootie and Manu Rolls pass by a lot of ambiance here as Rem hits the divider and so does Snoopak. Ram, uh, Rem, excuse me, uh, recovers quickly as he hits Battle Jack and Yoarki who hitchhiked in the Hot Ring Racers. Uh, Snoopak comes back up, but Ram has already got his speed here as Calcon has the hydraulics up here. I guess that's a uh, strat. I really don't know what, how it really is. I think Subtech told me, I don't remember. As there's a lot of collision here on the Harry Gold Parkway, which now uh, has less cops going into the airport now as we accidentally hit the battle jack. Calcon goes up to Rem here as he takes the jump. Calcon went on two wheels and the car is on its back. The car is on its back and Rem for sure. Is gonna get taken down as we fail the jump, but oh look at this! Look at the mini map! Rem has somehow got out! I can't believe what I just saw! Rem should have gotten taken down and all of a sudden he's back out as ugh, Microsoft Sans Serif. I thought we got rid of that font a long time ago. Oh, wait a minute! It's a full cop disengage timer! What? A mini game? Wait, I, I didn't do this! What? There's a little bit more, I have a feeling I can see something. Oh my god. The fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Dude, what? It started with an F. Fuck. Shit. Ass. Uh... 
There. Fuck you. Here's the you. Finally. Who the fuck designed this? This is terrible. This is honestly really bad. Oh shit. Oh. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Fuck shit, Cox. Uh, yeah. Yes. What the fuck? Those two letters were already touching. Uh, uh, there. Oh my god. That sucked. The old time man's gambit was way better. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If that was me in the airport instead of Calcon, Ram would have gotten fucked harder than the woman in Jeremy's complaint video. I take no prisoners. Ram would be in jail right now. But back to the chase, Rem does successfully get the jump onto the Easter Bay Airport, and he's going towards the mechanic here, as he will go and fix his car. Waiting for cops to come over, back to 1497, as here's a cop, it's Calcon who goes for it, but missed Calcon again going all in for that hit, but cannot get it. As we keep on going around Easter Bay Airport, the other cops have been shaken off, but not Calcon. You can't shake that guy that easily as Rem drops down into Easter Basin and kind of fails to jump here. As he keeps on going, we see Calcon come up. Calcon, the best driver of 2018, unequivocally. Wait, why are there subtitles? to get blown up together. I still want to live longer. I want to see the next chapter. So please, let us win. What? Please, please let us win. I lied! Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's hot! That's hot! Stick it to the five phobic heroes. Especially the cocksuckers with the Minecraft server. Cocksuckers. What were we talking about again? Calcon being the best driver. He must have stolen that vote. I can't find the ballot box. Where's the proof? No way there's a bloody thief! If it's missing now, that must mean someone stole it. Then if Calcon didn't steal the ballot box, then how do you win Best Driver? It's the Cheetah, isn't it? The babbiest car in all of San Andreas. Almost as bad as those fags that want in furnaces in Las Venturas. The Cheetah! That's how Calcon babbied his way to the win. Now all the Cheetah fanboys are gonna kill me. I don't wanna die, dude. Anyway, just cut it out! We don't wanna die! Monokuma and the Mastermind are the bad guys here. You don't wanna die? Do you know how many of my friends were sacrificed? <laughs> oh, alright. Calm down, holy shit. Ah! I know why Calcon won Best Driver. It was definitely the Cheetah. No, it's the Driving Challenge records. Wait, wait! Speed limits. Speed limits. 
I'll cut through your words! Okay, I lied. I lied about there being no mini games, and I lied about Calcon being the best driver. I swear to you, from this point till the end of the chase, we are not going to see another Danganronpa mini game. I swear. I swear on Donald Trump's presidency. Okay, forgive me. But there is so much dead air in this chase in some places. We had to do it. And Rem and Calcon were perfect for it. But Rem here is at the airport as he takes the ramp out of the airport. We take it as well. Calcon, will he try it? As we turn the map on here in a few seconds, and well, either he didn't try or he failed. So there you go. My point has been proven as we go back to Las Venturas. Well, we were already in Las Venturas. Uh, Lucas gave a cheer and wants me to advertise the radio, but we can't do that right now. So see Weston and Chivo uh, come here in uh, vehicles here. We go up here's purple pads and can pang Michi two inch geek ain't nothing but a thing baby as we accidentally hit him off his bike here Rem slows down as purple pad didn't see that coming Rem will turn around now as Chivo comes up he misses the hits as pure blue comes in lead the Titan looks on as Weston overshot Rem goes up past the bonus as purple pad gets a huge hit and stunts him a bit more now there are three cops around he gets hit by pure blue and calcon joins in the dog pile as ram will go over the ramp here as so does weston but he gets in the way and we flip our bullets but we're not gonna deal with this bullshit we're not gonna miss this chase as we abuse and go back northbound past all of these cops as Opia Novio Magus has no idea what's going on. He tries to swerve in front of us, but he gets knocked off his bike because he's a big, big noob. Funny thing is, we saw Opia Novio Magus in Chase Trials and Ram, and both have Dongan Rob elements. Love it. Later in the chase again, we are in Fort Carson going towards Torino's Ranch and Las Barrancas. As Calcon again, the only cop surviving after we saw all those cops on the Julius Thruway East. Tough to catch a bullet, but even in a cheetah, which is about 10, uh, 10 kilometers per hour slower than a bullet, Calcon is doing all he can to get around here as he goes. They both go on the Garver Bridge. Look how close he is to Rem there as. Calcon, now we're too far away. We gotta turn our knots on. Calcon actually got in front of Rem and forced him to turn around. How about that? He must have used his uh, thing, the, the speed limit thing. As Purple Pant comes up and tries to go for it, but missed it. As we saw, Calcon just turn his knots on, so I guess he did use his speed limit thing. Either that, or it only works on one side. I don't know. I don't know tricks like that. Tricks are not my thing. Speed limits are not my thing. Calcon. As we keep on going here towards Bone County, Purple Pants behind us. Calcon is still on Rem's tail here as he dips down and fakes going on the Martin Bridge. And Calcon took the fake as he flipped his car into the sign. Purple Pant went for a hit, but he missed it somehow. That looked like it connected, but it didn't. As now Rem will double back and actually go on the Martin Bridge this time as we crash this time. Calcon still on it and the purple pad as well finally giving Calcon some backup here another con but of course it would be purple pads he's not a bitch as we keep on going here into the panopticon as Ram looks like he's gonna probably do the jump again and he'll likely shake off purple pad because the LBPD car is not fast enough to do that I believe but look at Calcon, he is on Rem's ass right now. As Rem takes the jump, Calcon takes the jump, and we can do this as we go up as well. Calcon gets the jump very uh, easily as this time we flip our car. 
That didn't happen last time. I tell you, this bullet's a piece of shit. This car sucks. As Purple Pant comes in on an alternative route, Calcon will smartly fix his Cheetah, unlike Cop Master, in the Bruno Martini series. Runs out of his vehicle right now as Calcon tries to jump. Join but Purple Pant got faked out. As Ram, I guess, faked going down, and Purple Pant actually went down, so. It'll take a while for Purple Pants to get back in this chase here as Calcon still does not son. We'll keep on nipping at the bud. At Rambest Girl here as the Borag Each will go down. I will say, and I don't remember the last time I've chased a bullet with a cheetah, but the determination by Calcon right here to chase a vehicle that is better than the uh, bullet cheater in every way as he goes for a lag pit and went all in but missed it and at this point you gotta go all in as Calcon put everything in that lag pit right there as we go up the hill here and go close to Michelle's car shop Ram goes up and Calcon does on two wheels as now there's a fight on top I think Calcon trapped Ram oh he all he had to do is go back further he almost got Ram trapped up on Michelle's car garage here but Ram too slippery squeaks away as we go southbound here on the map purple pad is back but he's too slow to try to get the lag pit here as now we go southbound ram widening the gap with the speed of his bullet as he goes up the hill but he flips the bullet again he's completely on his back car is on fire but ram divine intervention to get the car back on his wheels again as he goes toward the zoomer as Calcon and Purple Pat take some shots. Ram going to the zoomer he'll try to fix his vehicle, but he's moving around too much, he probably can't get it. As Calcon comes up with the hits, check the drive by, they both go reverse into the gas tanks! All their cars blow up! And Propol Pat sits there wondering what just happened as Ram gets taken down in the same exact place he got owned in September 2017. And just like we said back then, and the self proclaimed Weebu of CNR gets taken down again. Here's everything that happened in this I did place. it! So for those who have not seen, I do want to go back to Ram's Season 3 chase to show how uncanny it is that his chase ended in the same exact area on a different target city, by the way, as the chase that we just saw in close to the same fashion, with Ram getting owned at or around the gas tanks. I guess an omen came in to say we had to see that again. Also forgot to say that Propel Pat was there as well. So let's rate this chase. Give it an A! I was thinking for a while whether or not this was an A-plus chase, but when you gotta think about it, it's probably not an A-plus chase. Just like how Agent M and the Turtle Battalion were right away off the bat A-plus chases, but still I believe this is the best chase of season four so far. Just a bit better than Weezo's and way better than the season three chase. Going to the grades, we had 10 graded cops, most of them being on the D and C line, mainly because a lot of those cops were not in the chase as long as Calcon and Propel Pets. And I had to grade them based on what they did during the moment. And when you go to Calcon, well, we've talked a lot of snit about this guy at the back end of the Christmas carols, but his chase consistency was through the roof. He didn't let Rem in the last six or so minutes of the chase get anything easy. And even though he did kind of try hard it, there's really no reason for me not to short sight Calcon. Give him the first A+. Plus of the season. Propel Pants gets an A. He was darn near close to getting an A plus in my mind. A guy who I've screwed with uh, grades and Ray My Chase before, but he gets an A. And now let's get into the Stugats of the chase. Can't narrow it down to 
individuals, let's go see it. So the Stu Gatz here goes to all the cops who failed to get Rem inside the airport as Calcon noobed up that jump. And at this point, with 129 vehicle health, Calcon and the other cops must have been like... Yes. What? Oh my fucking god, he killed himself! But it turns out not to be like that as Rem somehow uh, got his car to flip back over and then had to use the Instafix. None of the cops were able to ram into him to stop him. And at this point, all the cops, in regret, had to be like this. What? <laughs> That's fucking stupid. There's more outside. I need... Oh, I would have got these first if I knew that. So that'll do it for Rem's Rate My Chase. I know a lot of Borats get upset whenever I put Danganronpa minigames into Rate My Chases, but believe me, it hurts me more than it hurts you because the amount of editing it takes to actually replicate them will fry your brain after a while, but these do end up being, in my opinion, the most worked on Rate My Chases in the series. So again, that'll do it. Final episode of The Christmas Carols will be the Catherine and Mary series. That'll do it. Rem's Chase, the best of season four so far. We'll see you next time for the next Rate My Chase. Excellent Chase. Okay, thank you, Tubar King, for a 100-bit cheer. No, I don't hate every game. I just hate really garbage gimmick RNG parts of games that could have been designed much better if people had talent. That's what I hate.